Just uh, making some pens here and all. What? Look at that brown gold. Too bad I didn't have more of it. Anyway, how are you now? Getting you, not so bad. This is my uh, clean flax. We took the weed out of it. And I'm gonna sell the wheat separate now, so. So that's kinda nice, but. We're dumping away here. I'm keeping a good sample of it. So I'm gonna try to market this stuff now. Uh, after I get it all home here anyway, see how many bushel I got. And then we'll go from there, so. Anyway, that's what's been going on here the last few days. Um, I don't know, I guess I started on Sunday loading there, and Monday, today's Tuesday, so it should be all clean by tonight. And then uh, I got a haul week tomorrow, so I guess I'll probably video some of that, but I want to get a couple loads home here tonight. And then uh, get some in my bin, and yeah. Probably be good enough then after that. I had to get a tire fixed on the old truck here today, so that was kind of handy. Yeah, like I said, they started hauling uh, or started cleaning flax, and they call they want wheat. Fucking jeepers, anyway. So that's what's going on tomorrow. But anyway, for now, I'm gonna be uh, dumping this. I got one more hopper to go yet, and then I'm gonna run back to town and go get another load here. So. Anyway, see in a few. So here I was over here. <laughs> nice! Coming over to these bins to find out. Uh, I was looking for wheat is what I was doing. I thought the fucking wheat was in here. And... I got a good surprise. Ouch, you fucker. There we go. I got a bin of canola. Nice. Fuck, I like that. I didn't know I had it in here. So that's good. I was pretty happy about that. And then I thought, well, fuck, I thought I had canola in this bin. And I got canola in this bin. <laughs> so wheat. And I got canola in that bin. Right over there. So that's pretty nice. Oh yeah, I got it all white fired up, boys. Nice. I was stuck in gear, but that's okay. So here's the wheat. That's what I was looking for, but I gotta move the damn tractor out of the way to uh, empty the bin out here. So anyway, uh... This bin here is uh, wheat seed. That's uh, branded, I think, in there. And then I had Eli in that one where the uh, vac hoses are sitting. Uh, and then I backed that out and then put the seed on stand. And then I filled that one with flax. So that's why I cleaned that one out. So I'm gonna come over here with the vac after I'm done dumping and uh, load up for tomorrow morning out of this bin I should have two loads in here I only need 30 ton but if I'm going all that way I'm gonna take two loads piss on it so anyway that was just kind of a kind of a nice surprise look at this old girl I miss this I miss this old tomahawk nice I like that all the lights work on it even brand new cab kit oh Oh, come on. Can't get any better than the old white. I like this old girl. Anyway, I got to get a clutch put in it here pretty quick. So actually the clutch is okay, but the steady or the release bearing is shot. So I better get back to my flax dumping here before something shit hits the fan and uh, whatnot. So uh, I'll see you in a few here. 
We're doing long haul today, boys. Holy! Just fucking flying down the highway. I don't really like this shit, though. I thought I was supposed to speed it up, and here I am in a lineup. Dagnabbit. It's all automated stuff now. You don't even have to go in and talk to anybody. It's like, fucking they wonder why people are retarded nowadays. No social skills. Can't talk to nobody. Well, here's part of the reason. So, chain a few. Probing. Don't even feel it. <laughs> Holy. If I don't have to wait there, I gotta wait here. What the fuck? Here, Nate. All right, good and you. Well, we're just about home. We got about five, six miles to go yet. And then we'll go load when we get there. We'll grab some lunch at Belgoni at the Flying Chaybone. And, uh, yeah, so it should be good now. So, anyway, uh, we got one more load to go up there yet. So, we're going to go home and load the wheat out of that bin. Hopefully it'll all fit on. I had uh, about 900 bushel on this load here. So anyway, uh, I'll see you when we get home. Sounds good. Okay, guys. Well, we got the bin cleaned out. Ah, pick all that shit up when we get back. I gotta make it back here. Oh, I'll be back in time for the bus yet. So we're just rolling around here in Mexican Uber Drive right now. So we find a lug. There we go. Good enough. Anyway, we're going to head up there with another jag. So we'll uh, see you when we get there. Sounds good to you. Right freaking on, boys. That was a quicker trip. Now well, we're done. Uh, I gotta go back and uh, grab those uh, studs for the old board truck there. Pick those up and then uh, come back and uh, grab a load of flax and down and take it home again. So, good in you. See you in a few. Fuck, is this ever some zing zang and zing and zang, zing zang all over the place on this old bypass here? What the hell? Oh, 30. Better only do 30. The dirty 30s here. Uh, here we go. This really throws a fuck into a guy the first time he went on here. Ring around the rosy. There we go. See ya, Tom's. Well, we're on our way home here. Just grab the last load of uh, clean flax. Uh, I took two loads home today, so not so bad. Uh, Ashley and I and the kids took the truck up to the camper at the pasture. We we're gonna bring it home, and the fucking battery's dead. So the my jacks or slides and shit like that won't work on there. So anyway, I gotta take the inverter up tomorrow and uh, leave it running on there for a couple hours, charge the battery up, and. Then we should be good to go, so I'll bring it home, get it winterized up. Uh, then I might go to the city and get some parts for this truck, for the old freight shaker. Uh, I need a pinion seal and a uh, load leveling uh, valve block, a uh, few things anyways, but nothing major. I had some pipe for my exhaust, I gotta fix that up too, and my uh, my driver's window here doesn't seem to go up all the way it goes up so far and then it just clicks so i'm thinking the gears are probably stripped or some damn thing but anyway whatever that don't matter um yeah i was gonna video uh loading the flax at uh tom's in town there but the fucking uh i couldn't find the light and then when i finally found it then old nick south sass farmer gave a guy a call so we chatted away there and next thing I knew the bin was empty so whatever you guys seen grain coming in the, into the truck before so anyway 
such is life and uh, yeah so I don't know what the hell we're gonna get up to tomorrow but I got lots to do so maybe we'll work on that alleyway in the back there so anyway I'm gonna get this dumped yet tonight before I go to bed and uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the morning so talk to you in a few seconds well there we go guys how are you this morning pretty good and you Anyways, brought the uh, generator up to the camper. I'm gonna charge up the battery so my fucking jacks will work. And uh, <coughs> that runs my landing gear and the slides on there, so. I gotta have a battery for it to work. But anyways, I'm gonna go home and uh, work on the cattle stuff here pretty quick, so I think that'll just make a separate video out of that. Anyway, oh yeah, here's our new truck, guys. So what I'm going to do is uh, leave that charge for a few hours with the uh, charger in the, in the camper, and then I'll come back with the truck and uh, uh, haul the camper home here after. So anyway, here's our little campground that we made this year. Once we moved the cows out, then we just brought the camper up here. And then we stayed here well, a few nights, I guess, a couple weekends. So that worked out pretty good. Then a guy can get some shit done at home too, so works pretty good. It's not too far away. Piddle down to the lake for a little while and piss around down there. And yeah, it's pretty good. So I think we're gonna do it again next year here too. So anyway, I'm gonna let this charge and uh, we'll come back for this later. So talk to you in a few. Hey guys. Oh kind of cold out this morning. Fucking wind. I'm getting blown like a something anyway so i started putting these bolts in thanks to old h and l in town give me shitty when that guy closes down i'll tell you what so here's the old ones and here is the new ones that are actually for the for the truck they're the same length these ones got a bit of a taper on them though and the locking tabs are a little bit different but these ones don't have the splines to lock them so it's kind of the same idea you just line them up line them up like so and then just take the hammer fucking hammer them in a little drop the old bolt don't care then you take these thimbles like this and I usually start them on here and then I can suck them in right away. Um, let's see, you son of a bitch. Get on there, fucking gimpy hand. Like so. Something like this. Anyway, that's what they look like after. You get it tightened up because that holds this, the second hub on too. Anyway, I need two fucking hands here. Oh no, that's the right way. Okay, I need my good hand. <laughs> so I'll get these bolts on and the bolts all in and the thimbles on then I'll take the thimbles off I'll flip it up and tighten it with the big guy get those bolts set into the hub then we'll take this back out put it on the truck got all the bearings there they're all still good everything's good good enough and then uh, uh, we'll put the wheel and stuff back on I got some old bolts that are stuck in the rim with the thimble and the nut on, so I'm just going to cut those off. Use a plasma cutter, the torch, or whatever. And, uh, uh, yeah, that'll be it. And then uh, I'll bring you back in a bit, maybe before I do that. So, you guys see me do this same shit here on my grain trailer. So, go watch that video if you like. Seeing a few. Wow, well, fucking dig nabbit. <clears throat> so... These damn uh, studs, they come in left and right hand threads. I don't know why, they think that if it's on the other side, if it's left hand thread, they seem to hold better, I don't know. Centrifugal force, whatever. Anyways, I got, see it says R, 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 all right hand thread. I pounded a stud in, didn't look, and I was trying to put a thimble on there. Well, fuck, no wonder it wouldn't go on. It's a left hand thread, so they sent me a wrong bolt and all I have for new shit is um, uh, 
right hands. So I went to the back over my junk shelf there and luckily I have one left. One left handed one here so that's kind of nice. So instead of turning it right handed thread you turn it left handed so anyway same idea I'm just gonna have to use this because I'm not about to take all this off and wait another fucking four days or something to get a, uh, a right-handed one. So it's going to have to be good enough. Anyway, I'm going to all get this tightened up here now and uh, I'll bring you back in a bit here when I get all this shit back on. So talk to you in a little bit. Okay, so sorry for the wind, but it's terrible. I got all the nut and the bearing everything in there. Just gotta line the axle up now, hopefully. It's gonna line up okay. Probably need two hands for that too. There we go. There. Turn that a little hair. Little hair, blonde one or whatever. There we go. Nice! Fuck, I like that. So I gotta cut these two off yet. And then this is the inside tire, that's the outside. So that's what we're gonna do next. I'll put those uh, axle bolts in and color good enough. So we'll see you in a little bit, guys. There we go. Clean her all up, but as you can see, she's a little bit oval here. But you know what I say? Fuck it. Good enough. So I'm gonna throw that on there, and uh, and then this job's done. So I'll bring you back when I get her nutted on. I'll see you in a few.